on Sunday morning. It is it was strange to come out of Shabbat, right? To uh, to uh, on one hand not not wanting to to hear all the news and see what had happened, and also I think more than anything, I, I, I wish that my phone was broken um, and I could remain disconnected. So Shabbat was was quite a, uh, a relief. Um, for us who are following everything and doing what we can from behind the scenes, but obviously on the scenes and for uh, Chayalim um, and everybody supporting them in the army, they did not stop and everything continues the same. Uh, there were also beautiful videos that uh, that you saw about the, the Kabbalat Shabbat of, of the soldiers and, and the tremendous Emuna, and I think there's a there's a powerful uh, aspect to, to the Shabbat before whatever this week comes. Obviously, there'll be some sort of escalation in terms of our efforts on on the ground and uh, and who knows um but please god shabbat should give them the the, the quach to 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 do even greater things and, and strengthen their morale in in every way um so i think com coming uh, coming coming from that um <clears throat> coming from that we uh you know we, we switched on and, and then saw whatever the updates were thank god nothing crazy um baruch hashem more of our enemies being being uh being wiped out um but uh, continuing to need all our tefillot in, in a tremendous way um and i thought the tehillim that we would learn today is um tehillim kuf kuf mem bet 100 and, uh, 142. it's one of the tehillim that are that are fairly well known as as a as, as a perk tehillim that we say in in distress um more related to personal distress uh perhaps less so um you know to national distress of israel i was looking at how Koren in the in the tehillim book um, that i've been quoting from a lot from rabbi Hirsch Weinreb, they've got a little piece there of saying which tehillim are appropriate to which times um, so kuf bet is more on the on the personal side um but it's you know obviously appropriate here as well and i thought that could be a uh, um that could be something to reflect on as well i think there's there's like a the the national tragedy that that very much was was last week um there there is the the, the personal tragedy of everybody who's who's connected um but i think in our shiur here we, we reflected on on ourselves as part of a nation um and we looked at um you know the the, the tremendous pain and loss and destruction on a national general level um as time goes on the, the the personal strife and pain also starts to play uh, play a tremendous role um and i think that's that's something that this that this parent to him very much focuses on on that personal space so for a moment while the national tragedy remains immense and continues to grow and please god the national hatsala and and, and amishel should uh, should continue to grow as well um the the i thought to take a moment just to focus on that personal space um i thought about it based on uh based on a few things i think uh one one aspect was the um starting to see on social media different groups organized behind specific um people that are captured uh, specific people people that are that are that are, that are um and you see now you know whether it's their own facebook page their own website their family and their concentric circles around them starting to um you know call for the return of their loved ones and um the the more that there's more um you know pictures coming from the field and different videos and experiences that, that are being recorded uh, switched on the on the news last night on channel 12 and saw for a moment um there was uh a photographer who had been at the um at the festival and he's starting to you know he was starting to open up all the pictures that he had taken from from before everything had happened um and and you feel what there was there and and, and even more harshly what the destruction was there but but seeing the personal faces of people enjoying and 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 uh and and uh, and and to see that you know that destruction um so i thought we'd, we'd do something that was more focused on on the personal aspect um and that's what this that's what this period to hit him is focused on so it's a maskil of david um it's a, a maskil of david another one of the different categories uh, we've seen mizmor we've seen uh, shir shir lamalot we've seen shir hamalot this is this is a maskil um and over here we see that David is um, in, in his personal space, Bamara, right, in, in, a, in, a, in a cave. Um, the, um, um, the, the, this commentator over here, 
Um, Dwight Mikra, sorry, went blank for a moment, talks about the two possible places that, that David Amela could be, um, Nangeri and somewhere else. Um, but I think in terms of what we what we're looking for from the from the broad Kalium over here, like what is a cave? I think that's the that's the image and the metaphor over here. Like what is a cave? When I think of a cave, it's uh it's small, it's dark, it's damp, it's scary, it's on one hand a feeling of like, okay, I'm safe. There's there's crazy things going on out there. Um, but I've come into my own personal space and I feel like I can hide away. It's not a home. Right? I'm not hiding away in my home and I'm not closing the doors and I'm not in familiar surroundings. Even the space that I'm in is is, uh, is, is very scary. It's closed off from whatever may be going on outside, uh, but inside is some sort of protection from out there, but it's an unknown protection, right? It's like a scary form of protection. It's not somewhere where you can stay for a long time. It's not, it's not, an, it's not, a, it's not an extended place that has resources. It's just somewhere to, you know, that I've found in the midst of the battlefield to be able to just seek shelter for a moment. Um, the, the, a lot of the descriptions of these people that survived, I think it was the first lady um, that, that I'd seen interviewed um, to right after everything had happened and she's standing there in the middle of the highway and she's being interviewed and talking about how she was in a thistle in a bush and she moved between one bush and another bush while seeing this terrible destruction happening around her. So, so she had this you know, feeling of relative safety but certainly not objective safety. So. I think that's that, that's this uh, that, that's that's this cave of David Amelech that that we uh, that that we um, that we that we unfortunately connecting with over here. Koli el Adonai Ezak, Koli el Adonai Chanan. These these two languages of two voices from within the the, the, the endangered individual um, calling out again. It's uh, it's individual use. Koli, right? My voice calls out to Hashem. The first is Ezak. Um, that I cry out. So a cry that, that doesn't have um, shape or form, just, you know, like a like the cry of a child. Um, um, a scream, like a primal scream. Um, it sounds a lot like Azaka, right? That's where a siren gets its name from. So so a siren is, is telling you there's danger. I don't have time to tell you what the danger is. I don't have time to describe the intricacies of what that danger is. Um, but but I'm but I'm calling out. I'm in danger. So just come, help me. When you get here, you'll be able to maybe decipher the reality better than I can. But just know that I need help. The second uh, the second um, voice that calls out is a voice that's calling out to Hashem as well. That is et chanan. That's pleading. That's begging. There's more form to it. There's more um, th th there's more words to it. Um, there's there's perhaps a, a more of an understanding about. What the future is going to hold if I'm not if I'm not saved right now, um, so so there's there's that there's that sense of of etchanan of begging right when you think about making supplication, you're saying I am where I am now I don't know what will be tomorrow and therefore I'm giving this like um, you know pleading like this, this fast 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 speaking and uttering in order to try to be saved. Pasuk um, then says and there's a lot of references and and that's what Rav Weinreb focuses on. Um, in terms of this, this Perik Tehillim, and based on the Gemara and Abu Dazara, we'll see it in a moment, um, where the um, where, where there's references, a lot of more references to Hashem in the beginning than to the detailed description and nature of the of the Tzarot um, that are happening at this time. So first, Kol Yel Adonai, Zak Kol Yel Adonai Et Chanan, Eshpoch Lefanav, Sichit Tzarati Lefanav Agid, again, um, Two, two, you know, going like this repetition of of, of dual repetition. Lepanav sichi tsarati lepanav agid. So first sicha uh, we know is is tfila. We learn that from Yitzchak. Byetzer Yitzchak lasuach basadeh. That's where we learn tfilat mincha from. Um, and the the nature of sicha is tfila is something that's very connected to your surroundings. Um, so Abraham, when we learn from him, he's um, um, you know, he's, uh, he, um, his his tefillah after Storm and Amora, uh, he's, uh, we learn from the language of Amod, right? He stands up, so he's he's seen what's what's going to happen with uh, with uh, he's seen what happened with Storm and Amora, and he reflects on it in a static space. He stands and, and he, t he learns, and that's where we learn Shachrit from. Uh, Mariv, we learn from Yaakov when he's running he's running away, but Yifkava Makom, he bumps and he encounters this uh, this, this space and Pigiya is tefillah. 
Um, this tefillah we learn, a mincha we learn from Yitzhak Bayat Yitzhak Lasuach Basadeh. He goes out and he's sort of meditating within the field. And like a, 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 a siach is also sikhim, it's bushes. It's like this organic relationship with the, with the surroundings around you. Mincha is that compared to Shachrit and Mariv. Shachrit, I've woken up at a set time, I've gone to a set tefillah. Mariv, the day is ending, I go at a set time with a set tefillah and I encounter Hashem. Mincha, we say, Lo nena Eliyahu Tfilat Mincha, that Eliyahu Navi was, was answered only at Mincha. Mincha's got its power comes from the fact that it's very connected with the surroundings. It's very um, like a conversation. It's not scripted. It's, it's, it's reactive. It's responsive. It's, it's connected. Um, so, so that's this, this, this calling out of Tfilat Hashem is a Tfilat that's it's not a planned Tfilat from the morning or the evening. It's, a, it's, um, um, it's more of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a spontaneous um connective environmentally influenced tefillah um and then the uh, the tefillah that happened the the the, the lashon of tefillah afterwards it's sarati now that i've got that connection i can start formulating uh, this sarah my, my unique personal individual trouble i can say in front of you um and that relates to the same um progression from ezak to etkanan and sicha to tsara um this this pasuk over here, Gimel, is is brought in the Gemara and Abu Dazara. Let's see if I can just find it quickly. Um, Abu Dazara Zayin. Um, okay, let's share this tab. Where where there's this machloket about um, about it's fine. Let's get the English as well. Um, Okay, so so this 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 out to Hilim over here is brought as a proof text for um, for the way to relate to our needs versus versus Hashem. Um, I don't want to get too stuck within this. Now let's see. Let's make it a little smaller. I think it's maybe over here. Yeah, over here. Yeah, so Bishu yeah. says one should one should pray first and afterwards request his own needs. As it is stated, I pour out sikhi before him, I declare before him my trouble. So before there's an elucidation or elaboration on what the trouble in the tefillah is, there is a um, th there is an acknowledgement of Hashem. That you know that I've, that I've got to imbue within myself and within my own sense of understanding of the world like a true emunah and hashem of hashem's ability his greatness his power his strength um and that's what we learn from 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 this this tehillim over here um that one, first one pause for this uh okay now saying the opposite um right so so that's the makhloket over here do you say first um, you talk about Hashem, and then you talk about your tzara, or do you first talk about your tzara, and then talk about Hashem? Um, so, two different ways of relating to how we need to call out to Hashem. I think that can be based on different things. Um, what, what's the other? What's the other pasuk that's brought with with the other with the other example? Um, and this blew my mind yesterday at 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 lunch. Um, we were singing Zmirot, um, and. Uh, and first we did like a regular Yona Matzah Vomanoach, right? Like Davin, that the, that the Dav should find some uh, some uh, Manoach, right? That the, the Dav should find somewhere to rest. And that's Parashat Noach coming up. And that's, that's the beauty of Shabbat is that the, the Dav finally found somewhere to rest, right? Like it's moving around and it's searching for a sign of salvation. And then, oh, Shabbat was a place to, to rest. Um, and then we did Shimu uh, Shabbatotai, right? Like the protection of Shabbat. We never, ever sing that Smira. But there's something very cathartic and beautiful and slow. Ulavu alai banai, right? Like Hashem should, should, uh, should, should accompany, accompany his son. He should go with them. And then I was, you know, normally you do like a set two, two zmirot when, when we're in a good enough space to do the zmirot. Um, and then I started singing tefillah la ani kiyatov. Um, the, the, that perik tefillim is uh, this one, kuf bet, amad aleph. I didn't know that, it, that this was brought in the Gemara until this morning. Uh, but yesterday I just started singing it. 
that that perk to helium anybody who is you know sort of connected to the the, the national destiny of Amistral around 2004 2005 that was became the anthem of of the um, of the people of Gush Katif and of Amistral davening for what was going on during the expulsion from Gush Katif um and um and that was what they sang filala ani kiatof velifnashi mishpoch sikho also very therapeutic my wife it was too sad to be sitting at the Shabbos table but I, I feel like we have to give space to those things and then we you know and and, and then we dive in from that space um but also not getting into anything political around Gush Katif but 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 I feel like those people's pain must be double and triple and exponentially crazy at this time um to see the to see the, the terror that 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 comes forth from where their homes were um and and i i dove in that all out filot ride on their filot right that 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 filot from then that filot now um should should um um sh should come with tremendous strength to Baruch Hu, and, and come up as is like we said in Perikhat, that Hashem, whatever korbanot have been given, find them all and and use them to, to be a spot for Amish right now. Um so so this was an interesting thing between these two Tehilim that the Gemara uses them as contrasting Tehilim. The Tehilim in in in, in Kufbet, that that one is uses the proof text for saying that a person should um should state his needs first and then say uh and and then say the um and then say that and then say our great hashem is afterwards whereas our one is brought as the, as the proof text of um of we should we should say our great hashem is first and then say our say our tefillot afterwards um so it's so an interesting contrast and i think for different times and different needs for different people in different spaces i think when you when you're running away under attack you call out right and and and, and you scream out what you need and then you say who's going to save me hashem is going to save me compared to maybe in a, in a more stable space you're like hashem you know you strengthen your emuna and then you detail your your tefillah. it could be you could say the opposite right i think it's uh, you know you could say I don't even know what my trouble is. I just Hashem, Hashem. I'm calling out to you to to save me. Um, you can find different different spaces. I think also a person's level of emuna. Maybe someone whose emuna is so deep already, they can just already be in that space and then call out their troubles to Hashem. Someone else who maybe needs to strengthen the emuna before they call out to Hashem. That's important. Um, I shared this in my in my talk to I sent through to to, to the Shiva College kids in South Africa that. Um, that, that we have to strengthen our emuna in a very in a very powerful way at this time, um, and um, I know I was I've got a close friend of our professor Rabbi Sam Liebens. He just wrote a, a book um, called the, A Guide for the Jewish Undecided, and I was reading it ahead of the Yamim Narayim, and it's amazing. He's from England. He's from uh, he's from Finchley, Leicester. He's from Leicester, and um, he uh, he's an analytical philosopher. Of tremendous uh, you know, reputation, and uh, he he goes through using analytical philosophy. He he shows you why it makes so much more sense. It is much 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 more rational to believe in a supernatural being than it is to not believe in a supernatural being, and to believe in a supernatural being as a Jew that is Hashem rather than not, and that that being that is Hashem cares about us and cares about the Jewish people. And uh, I found tremendous strengthening of my emuna ahead of davening for people on Yamim Narayim, and and I found it to be a, a real strength over here. So that when I say Koli El Hashem, is that Koli El Hashem, right? Koli El Hashem, Ishpok Lefanav, Sarati Lefanav. We have to do work as well in our emuna. Now, how do you do that when you're seeing these people talking about the hor the horrors that they went through? Um, and you feel such a hester panim of Hashem, right? Such a such a lack of Hashem protecting His people. Um, we know we've got bigger questions on the you know that happened in the Holocaust, and and but yet we still are here, right? Davening to Hashem and believing in Hashem. Um, right as it started, this whole this whole tsar, this whole tsara, um, I subscribed to Rav Osher Vass's, um uh, website to his uh, to his limbs. He's a tremendous tremendous guy. All 
firmly rooted in the Haredi community, but uh, I think he comes from America originally and he's very connected. Um, he's amazing. He came out to South Africa many years ago uh, for Rabbi Tanza. His, his, his neshama should be a schut for, uh, for, for all of us here as well. And Rabbi Shabbas, um, so, so listen to what, what would he say, right? He's more in the Haredi world and yeah, there's this national tragedy. It's very connected to not the Haredi community, right? That was out there on the Otep. It's soldiers, it's people that, that had settled in the South. Um, you know what, what was his gisha, and and uh, it was amazing to hear him speak. He spoke about a, a a child coming in on their way to the army and asking for a bracha, and with tears in his eyes, gives them a bracha. He said in his shul, he's saying to him all the time, people who um, who their their focus is Torah need to be back in the Bamidrash and learning. And then he told the story with tears in his eyes that he was he was very close to that he was very close to Rebbe from Tams who lo who lost I think it's the Klausenberger Rebbe. I think it's the same person who lost 11 he lost 11 and 11 children in the holocaust um yeah. and he said how do you go on and he said how do you believe in hashem at the same time because he had tremendous emuna and built built tremendous community built the hospital in uh in the tanya um and he said that when you say shema israel you cover your eyes there's sometimes a reality that is that is so 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 hard to to look at uh, a tangible visceral reality that that pushes you very far away from emuna um and he said that's that's why at least for a moment in the morning a moment in the evening you put your hands over your eyes and you say the reality that that i'm looking at the visceral reality that's outside of me is so hard to see it's hard to contemplate and at the same time have a strong emuna and hashem so for that moment, let me cover my eyes. Right? Let me let me close off the world from outside of me. Let me go internally, up into my own ma'ara, my own cave. And from that place, say Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Take a step outside of what I can see, a step into that which I can't see, um, and build my emuna in that space before I then remove my eyes, remove my hand from my eyes again and look at it. But I have to sometimes take a step back, strengthen my emuna, and then come back in. Perhaps that's that's what we do in 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 uh, in the shiur. Perhaps there's a power in actually just for half an hour, not reading the news, not watching on social media, just putting a hand over our eyes, strengthening our emunah, understanding that David Amelech has been talking about these things. Hakadosh Baruch Hu has put the, put the, put these exact troubles in the words of our Nevi'im and our um in order for us to be able to see that 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 yes, Hashem guards us even even when it's hard to to see His hand. Um, and and come out of it, come out of it with strength. Um, so when we say Shema, we should we should believe that. Uh, that, uh, that I felt yesterday, um, I had the schut of um, of davening from the Amud from Musaf, and uh, you know, when you're davening on your own, your personal tefillah, you just you know you can you can get switched off sometimes. Your focus can 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 wane. When you're shaliach tibur, um, th that's not an option, um, and and I felt every single word and every tefillah took on tremendous proportion. And I think if we can take our regular tefillot and 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 add the, the kavanah to there as well, then that'll go to the highest places in Shemaim. And um, um, and and the, where do we learn this idea that's expressed in the psalm of saying your saying how great Hashem is, right? Appreciating and building a emuna in Hashem before we then go out and and detail, right, Abakashot, it's from the Amidah itself, right, we say first Avot and Gvurot, those are the two sections, first we talk about the Port Fathers, then we talk about the, uh, um, and then we talk about the, uh, the the strength of Hashem, um, so um, we talk about the Shemona Esra, eh? let me just quickly find it on my phone so I don't make a mistake there, um, Okay, the Amida, right? Hashem's uh, fatai tiftak. Listen to what's coming out of my soul. If we are guilty, let's hear about your praise. But Elokei Avraham, right? Elokei Yitzchak, Elokei Yaakov. We've been talking about them in our different tefillim. We spoke about Avraham in uh, in the previous uh, in in the previous mizmor. Um, we spoke about Yaakov in tefillim kufchaf aleph. So we're invoking all of them. Yitzchak, we see over here siach. And we say, "Ake lagador, right? You great, you strong, you powerful. On the ra, elilion, you supreme. You're above all this." 
Gomel Chasadim Tovim, how many people need Hashem to be the the uh, the giver of, of good chesed, right? Not just chesed of releasing the captives, there should be good chesed, that they should come back, they should be come back and be able to heal on their soul and their physical level very easily. But Koneakol, you're the choir of everything. Think about the first Rashi on the Torah that I'm sure everybody spoke about. You the choir of everything, you own everything. You own the whole world and therefore you give, uh, you give Eretz Yisrael to Am Yisrael. Um, and then jumping just to the middle of Gvurot, the second the second section of the Amida, um, you are Somech Noflim, right? You support those who have fallen. Think about the families. Um, think about the Ptsuim that, that need the Refuah. Umatira Surim. You release the bound, right? Release the captives. And I, I stayed on that, that part for a few moments extra because I felt that was something that we need Hashem to show his strength over there. Um, and in light of this, this Tehillim, we talk about the, the personal pain of those people in, in those caves and and uh, the, the family members here that, that are in caves of absolute uh, grief and, and trouble. Um, and, 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 and that we should become strong, even though we know that Hashem needs to show himself in being Somech Noflim, Rapechol Matir Asurim, he should also Makayem Emunatoli Shenafar, he should strengthen our Emunah. <sighs> um, just to finish this this pair to him quickly, I know we had a time, but uh, it says over here when my spirit faints from within me, there's but there's also batalit. You, you close the talit on yourself, um, for bracha, but but sometimes your grief itself can can, can close in on you. Uh, you know my path, um. Right, that I believe in you, and then, and then I want, and then I know that you're guiding me and escorting me. But I will continue to go in that way. But in, uh, in, the, in the way that I go, Tamlu Pachli, they've hidden a snare for me. We think of our soldiers on a national level; they're going in as this force, and that's how we imagine them, right? This indomitable, powerful force. But Davin for each soldier, under his helmet, in his clothing, taking his unique footsteps. Um, in this, in this, in this Tehillim, that talks about the individual stress, because there's snares, right? There's Lailainu landmines and and bullets, and 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 uh, their dangers to a soldier, each soldier in and of himself. Um, so, so we 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 daven for the safety of Amishal going in on a ground incursion, but we daven also for every single unique soldier in his own ma'ara of his. Uh, of, of his helmet and, and, and his clothing, and he should be protected. And Hashem should hear this as, as a tefillah for each one. Habet yamin ori, the Quran 10, for there's no man that knows me, right? This feeling of just feeling lost, right? I'm sure when you're a soldier going in there, yes, you've got your soldiers around you, but, but the danger can come indiscriminately from any place and, 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 and affect you. Um, so you still feel that, that, that sense of, uh, of, of, personal, of personal danger and, and, and vulnerability. I have no way to flee, no man cares for my soul. I cry to Hashem, I've said, you are my refuge, my portion of the land of the living. We, we don't know where the danger will come from, and therefore Hashem, from that same place of, of, of not knowing, come to us from that place and, and, and save us. Um, this land should, be, should, should return to be a land where we feel alive, not feel the pain of, of death. Right now there's like more sophisticated levels of um, of, of calling out to Hashem, attend to my cry, listen, right? Not just, not just hear the scream, but but listen, El Rinati, um, to my cry. But it's a cry that also has a certain sense of Rina has also got joy, right? Ki daloti meod hatileni mirad fai ki am tami meni, and that's how to him. We always see going from a place of down to 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 up. Hatileni mirad fai, save me from my enemies, ki am tami meni, for they are too strong for me. But siyami masker nafshi, bring my soul out of prison. Think of the captives again. Think of each individual person. To, um, to, to thank your, your praise, but also to admit the, the greatness of your name. Um, and then the righteous shall crown themselves because of me. You will deal bountifully with me. Um, and, and, and that's uh, the powerful tefillah at the end. It's just pure hope, hope, hope. Take me out from this play, place of difficulty and scaredness and, um, and unknowing and, and, and give me refuge. Uh, because we know that you are Gomel Chasadim, Kitzig Molala, that that you will show your your Chesed to me. Um, what else did I want to say? A few things. I think on the personal level, um, there's so many things we can do to help people. Um, 
there's 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 families, there's people in Eretz Yisrael, and I think also people in Chutz Laaretz. Anybody who messages me from Chutz Laaretz, Michelle, you are Chutz Laaretz representative, and my mom in Australia at the moment. Please send you'll be home safe soon. Um, everybody who asks us how we're doing, ask them how they're doing, because as we've said many times, this is a this is a Jewish issue. It's not it's not uh, it's not an Israel issue. Um, and every Jew feels that same vulnerability and 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 fear, and we should strengthen one another. I'm trying to think all the time who are my friends, my co-workers, and just just the message here or there, especially the people that you think don't need the message. There's nobody that doesn't need the message. Um, I'm hopefully going to join some uh, meeting at 11 o'clock to join uh, Telfed. Is going to be phoning and calling you know different people in the South African Australian community. Um, just a voice and a and a, and a personal one-on-one -on -one care. Um, can be something that we can be, get motivated from this individual personal team. Michael, I know you and, 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 and the shul are doing tremendous work with, with helping uh, the families, especially with, with the fathers on Miluim. So you should get all those chuyot should be um, tremendous. Um, yeah, I think those are most of the things I wanted to share. Um, but but everybody has got a personal power, a personal space where they need healing, a personal space where they can give healing. Um, I constantly think, well, what are the different things to post on social media? Yes, I've got a story I can share that can be a little bit um, alarmist. Is that going to be helpful for people? Um, I'm not sure. So let me post uh, you know, a message of hope or something else. Um, from the outside world, our personal keyboards and personal spaces, whatever we can do on social media. Jack, you shared uh, you shared with me your uh, one of your what we call him a Ben Mohamat, right? Uh, who was who was here in, uh, in 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 Israel, and you looked after him, and he did a tremendous job of of presenting uh, Israel on on English radio. Um, so you should get nachas and schuyot from from everything you invested into him as a family in Israel that looked after him, and then he was able to. To share that moral voice of Israel, um, so I think yeah, that's the call that I feel from this telem today is on the individual level. There's there's national spaces, but there's also individual pieces that that make up that in, that that national puzzle. Um, and then us as individuals, we need to keep our morale strong and and know that when this chapter is over, please God swiftly, chapter two of building Amishal will need us all to be strong, to be confident, to be courageous. Um, and uh, therefore, the emotional health of people right now, even those not on the battle line, especially those not on the battle line, need to be supported as well. Okay, let's say the Tilim together. Um, okay, anybody who wants to leave is welcome to. Um, let's do it line by line to focus out to be lot. Um, make it a bit bigger. Um, Michael, if you got the tefillot ready, can do them often. Maskele David biyoto b'mara tefillah. Control D to unmute. Maskele David biyoto b'mara tefillah. Koli el Adonai za koli el Adonai yatchanan. Koli el Adonai yatchanan. I also want to say this is this is Rosh Chodesh. We're about to be we're about to, we're on Rosh Chodesh, and Rosh Chodesh is a reflection of how we begin that path where the moon is almost gone, but we started to reflect the sun um, and uh, Hashem's values, which are the constant sun, need to be reflected in the world. At the moment, it's very dark. That we're going to be on this ascent of 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 reflecting Hashem's sun as the moon, B'nai Shal as the moon, and get, and growing bigger and bigger. Um, so from tomorrow, I think we'll start doing the Shir Ma'alot, talking about the ascent. It's starting from Kufcha, um, but I think also that we should feel within ourselves. We, we've now spoken about the power of Hashem as the sun in the beginning of this Tilim, Hashem, Hashem, Lefanav, Lefanav, and now we start talking about Atzarot from the place of darkness. As those darkness gives space to Hashem's answer out to lot that the moon should meet the sun um, by the 15th of the month, and there should be a, a great Yeshua within two weeks. Hashem, you've got mm -hmm. a day. If you need more than that, you've got two weeks to finish this. 
כי תצייף עלי רוחי, ואתה ידעת נתיבתי, בוא רחזו עליך, תנו פחלי. הבית ימין וראה ואין לי מכיר, אבד מנוס ממני, אין דורש לנפשי. הבית ימין וראה ואין לי מכיר, אבד מנוס ממני, אין דורש לנפשי. זעקתי אליך, אדוני, אמרתי, אתה מחזיק חלקי בארץ החיים. הקשיבה רין עתי גידלותי מיוד אצילני מרודפי כי אמצו ממני. הוציאה ממזכן נפשי לא דודד שמך ביחתירו צדיקי כי תגמול עליי. I'll do the prayer for Sahal. Marco, you got it there? I'm not looking for it. One minute. Yeah, you can read it on the screen. Okay, we got it on the screen. Yeah. Mishi Berach Avotenu Avram Yitzhak V'yakov Hu Yivarech Et Chayalei Tzva Hagana L'Yisrael V'anshei Kochot Apitachon Ha'omdim Al Mishi משמר ארצנו וערי אלוהינו מגבול הלבונן ועד מדבר מצרים ומן הים הגדול ועד לבוא הערבה ובכל מקום שהם ביבשה, באוויר ובים. ייתן אדוני את אויבינו הקמים עלינו הנקפים לפניהם. הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור ויציל את חיילינו מכל צורה וצוקה, מכל נגע ומחלה. ישלח ברכה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידיהם יש... ידבר שונאנו את תחתיהם, ויתרם בכתר ישועה ובעטר את ניצחון וקיים בהם הכתוב, כי אדוני אלוהיכם ההולך עמכם, להילחם לכם עם אויביכם, להושיע אתכם ונאמר אמן. אמן, אמן, אמן. מי שברך אמר את זה נברא מצחק, יעקב יוסף, משה ורין דוד שלמה יברך וישמור ויצור את נדרי צבא גנז ואת השבויים, דניאל שמע בן שרון, בתוך שער חן ובית שלנו תני בצער ושביה. בבו שקל נפל לבבו רם הקדוש ברוך ימלא רחמים עלי, ימי יוציאי, ימי חושב וצמא ואת מוסותי מן התק, ומצוקתי ימי יושיע משווה מהרה לחיק משפחות ימי יודו לאדוני חסדו, ונפלותיו לבני אדם. ויקוים בין מקרש כתוב דעי אדוני שבו נאמר צין ברינה ושמחת עולם אמר לו שם ששון ושמחה ינוס ויגון והנחה ונאמר אמן. לא רוצה שתסיים לו פה תחיינו. אספקשי כוס מנשן רב פרז הסן דניאל פרז הוא מסים. ואז הוא אמר על שיעור שהוא אמר על יהיר רצון בין אחינו. Um, can you send that to us? Uh, can you, did you send it or can you send it? Uh, I'll, say, I'll send it, I'll send it. Thanks. Um, but, but this morning, I don't know why I hadn't thought about it before, but we talk about Achen Gomesh on Natsuni Bitsara Uva Shivya, those who are held captive. Um, so we should have special kavanah for that. Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael is settled together. Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael has been in Bitsara Uva Shivya. Ha'om din ve'in ve'yam u've'in ve'yam ba'sham. המקום יחד ציין, יוצא מצער לבחר, ומאפל על אורן, שיבוד לגולן, אשתה בגלל זמנתנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנטנט